What is castor? Castor effects. Positive castor benefits. Castor's influence on tire wear. Frequently asked questions. What is castor? Automotive manufacturers design the suspension systems to provide ease of steering and directional stability. To attain this, the wheels must lead or follow in the same direction as the vehicle. This is obtained by the caster angle in the front suspension. Further, it is also necessary that steering maintains a straight path. It should also straighten out or self-centers automatically after the turn. Caster is measured on the steering wheels, that is the front wheels, as an angle which evaluates the forward or backward tilt of the steering axis when viewing the car from the side. Positive caster. Positive caster is when the steering axis is in front of the vertical. In a road car, this would mean that the top of the coil over would be pushed towards the rear of the car. Positive caster creates a lot of aligned torque, the force that straightens the steering wheel when you go forward, which improves straight line stability of the car. Due to the geometry of positive caster, it also will increase negative camber gain, a good thing. When turning, as you increase positive caster the steering will get heavier also, but with modern power steering systems this is rarely a problem. Generally you want as much positive caster as you can reasonably get so long as the car is equipped with power steering. Negative caster Negative caster is when the steering axis is behind the vertical. This is generally only found on older vehicles due to tire technology, chassis dynamics and other reasons. Modern vehicles do not use negative caster. It will lighten the steering effort but also increases the tendency for the car to wander down the road. If you've ever pushed a shopping cart then you've felt the effects of negative caster on the front wheels. Caster effect? Caster affects the steering ease and the stability of the vehicle in a straight line. Modern cars use positive caster in order to resist unintentional turning of the vehicle or wandering, straying from the intended path, when traveling straight at speed. Positive caster effect As you already know, a positive caster occurs when the steering axis tilts in front of the axis of the car. It pushes the coil spring over the shock to the rear side of the vehicle at the time of driving. A driver can distinctly feel the effects of a positive caster when driving the car in a forward movement. Due to the huge amount of self-aligning torque on the front tires and wheels created by the upper ball joint or strut mount, the vehicle will be steady on its track when you drive straight. The effect of this caster angle generates a tension that keeps the front wheels straight at the time of driving at speeds. Another effect of this torque is the steering wheel less returning to the 12 o'clock position when driving around a corner. Otherwise, the car will wander off from its straight route. Positive caster is crucial in enhancing the cornering and handling performance of a vehicle. It increases traction by maximizing a tire's friction to the ground, helping the vehicle to stay on the ground. Increasing the positive caster too much is not a good idea because it will make the steering heavier and hard to rotate. However, you don't need to worry about this in modern vehicles as they have a power steering system to cancel the heaviness in the steering wheel. Another problem is it can hasten tire wear, although the effect is not direct. Tire and wheel misalignment along with excessive positive caster can worsen the tire wear issue. Negative caster effect What is caster when it turns negative? In this case, the steering axis tilts behind the vehicle's vertical axis. Most old cars suffer from this problem because of the absence of a power steering system. Setting a negative caster was the only way to make the rotation of steering wheel easier in those cars. Turning corners become difficult with the negative caster. Due to this negative caster, the steering wheel in older vehicles often feels too light, and it becomes hard to keep the vehicle on track during turning a corner. Positive caster benefits Improved straight line stability at speed. The front wheels positioned forward of the upper ball joint. Strut mount produces a self-aligning torque on the front wheels and tires. This is a fairly complicated engineering concept, but the idea is that positive caster creates a tension that wants to return, keep the front wheels pointed straight ahead while at speed. 
you experience the benefits of positive caster and self-aligning torque every time the steering wheel naturally unwinds back to 12 o'clock when exiting a corner. And without positive caster and the resulting self-aligning torque, the vehicle would be very inclined to wander at highway speeds. You do feel that too. For a risk-free preview, send a shopping cart, which has negative caster at the front wheels, on its way. Just make sure there aren't any cars or fellow shoppers around. Improved Vehicle Handling and Cornering Performance Caster has a direct relationship to negative camber, which is fundamental to maximizing the tire's contact patch when cornering, and therefore key to maximizing the available grip. Specifically, positive caster helps to create increased negative camber on the outside wheel during cornering. When cornering, the vehicle weight shift is met with a maximization of the tire contact patch on the outside front wheel that's under maximum cornering load. In performance driving circles a caster increase, sometimes to the maximum available setting that the vehicle will accommodate, is credited with improvements in vehicle handling, maximum traction, and steering responsiveness. Caster's Influence on Tire Wear Caster settings are not a primary direct factor in tire wear. However, excessive positive caster in association with other alignment maladjustments can exacerbate a tire wear issue. For example, a tire wear pattern called feathering can result from a combination of too much caster with incorrect toe settings. Tire feathering is characterized by a high-low, smooth sharp variation in the wear pattern of the treadlocks. Of all of the alignment settings, however, Caster is the least likely to be a cause of uneven or abnormal tire wear. A holistic alignment approach involves verification of caster settings that are to your vehicle's specification. Caster might not get the headlines of the other alignment variables and adjustments, but it's fundamental to vehicle performance and safety just the same. Next time you're pushing a shopping cart around the store, note the unpredictability of the front end. Frequently Asked Question what does too much positive caster do? Excessive positive caster increases low speed steering effort and ride harshness or road shock. On the other hand, excessive negative caster reduces steering stability at higher speeds and may cause wonder. It also reduces the ease with which the steering returns to center after turns. Is negative caster bad? If the caster is equal but too negative, the steering will be light and the vehicle will wander and be difficult to keep in a straight line. If the caster is equal but too positive, the steering will be heavy and the steering wheel may kick when you hit a bump. Caster has little effect on tire wear. What does negative caster do? Negative caster is when the steering axis is behind the vertical, modern vehicles do not use negative caster. It will lighten the steering effort but also increases the tendency for the car to wander down the road. How do you change the angle of caster? One way to adjust caster is with an adjustable arm. In the case of a McPherson strut system this can be in the form of an adjustable tension rod that holds the lower arm forwards or backwards in the wheel arch. The screw can be adjusted to move the wheel forwards or backwards adjusting the caster angle. What is difference between caster and camber? Caster is the fore or aft slope of the steering axis. Camber is the inward or outward tilt of the front tires as viewed from the front, inward tilt is negative, outward tilt is positive. If you love this video, share it with your friends. Your support has inspired me to keep developing many videos. Thanks for watching.